Hello once again everybody, my name is Agent Mustache, and today we're going to be doing, well, it's been a while, but I'm going to be doing part 3 of how to make a map on the Hammer Editor for Gary's Mod. So, I'm going to start out again making basic ground. I would be using the file from last time, or the map that I made last time, but uh, it kind of got deleted because I got a new computer and, uh, not really deleted, but I just don't have the file. And yeah. I'm just gonna create a ground like I did in previous videos. And then yeah. I'm gonna create a skybox. If you don't know what's going on in this video, just watch the previous two tutorials and uh they show how to do what I'm doing. I'm just gonna make the skybox real quick. If you hear any clicking in the background, that's my keyboard. Um, it's kind of loud, but whatever. All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to make. Well, I'm pretty sure I already showed how to make NPCs, so I'm going to show how to make doors that rotate instead of slide, and how to make props. So uh, I'm just going to make a basic house. Okay, I'm just going to. Now the house is done, I'm going to save the map as um, tutorial 3, I guess, because, yeah, it's part 3 of the tutorial. And, of course, save it. I have the spawn here, didn't get that, as I showed previously, just go to the entity tool and click. And, now to make a rotating door, you go to the entity tool, make an entity double click it and do door rotating we'll prop door rotating apply and then well next you want to get the world model so go to world model and click browse and then just door and then any door will work I'm just gonna do this one okay apply close that out and move the door let me just increase that a bit so that the grid's smaller. Yeah. And then have more room to move it around. And now I'm just going to rotate and fit the door where it goes. Just a little too high. Not too low. Alright, I'm just going to save it and compile the map and run it to show that the door is indeed working. Alright, and here we are. That's flying a bit, I'm going to fix that in a second. But, um, yeah, you go up to the door and press E on it and it opens. And, yeah, they have a little handle that rotates whenever you open the door and close it. So, yeah. Now I'm going to show how to make a prop, and yeah, there are multiple types of props. The different types of props are, uh, let's just see here, they have dynamic, static, uh, physics, well, okay, detail, dynamic, uh, physics, ragdoll, scalable, static, and the other ones just do different things. We're just going to do uh, detail this, just, it's a static prop basically. You can't really interact with it, like, you can't move it around or break it. So I'm just going to do, like, desk, and get brains desk, press apply, and you get the desk. And you just move it to a corner or something. Yeah, I need to fix the door. Okay, so with the prop eh, detail, you 
can't really move it. And we also have the prop dynamic. This, alright, it's basically the same, except, well, you can change more properties of it. So I'm just going to do like, and we'll create, apply, you can move it up. Eh. One second. I'm just going to move it up. Move it over here. And yeah. Then I'm going to create a third one. Alright. Wait. Just to go back on the prop dynamic. As you can see, it has a lot more properties than the prop detail. And. Hmm. Don't know what these are. Like the skin and angles. Those. I don't know what to do. Alright, so for the prop dynamic, they have a lot of different things here. Like disable shadows and stuff like that. Damage filter. Pressure delay. Hmm. Body group. Start disabled everything. And yeah, you can play around with these if you want. I'm not really going to go into that inside this video. And then we have the prop physics. Prop static is basically the prop detail. There's not really any difference. Alright, with the prop physics though, uh, you can have a prop that you can move around and break. So I'm going to do table. I spelled that wrong. Give me a second. Table, and they have all the pieces of the table. And then you can choose one of these tables. I'm going to choose this one. Okay. Apply. And then, yeah, I'm going to save it, compile it by pressing F9. And we're here. I'm going to open the door, and they have... That's not right. We have the three props. This is a prop detail. Uh, I guess the model didn't want to load. Or something like that. I don't know. So the prop detail isn't working because, well, I guess I don't have the model for it. Alright, the prop dynamic is here. You can like move around, but it doesn't fall or anything. It doesn't have any physics. Then the prop physics is here. You can fling that around and stuff. And you could get like a crowbar and break it. Well, it depends on what kind of prop you chose, but uh, since I chose the wooden table, you can break it. Yeah, I'm going to fix the model for that prop detail now, because shouldn't be doing that. Browse. Let's do desk. Let's do a different desk. Apply. Move it up slightly, save it, F9, and let's go. Alright, we're here once again. I'm gonna open that up, and prop detail still isn't working. Guess we're just not gonna use that. And recently, I've actually not been able to use prop detail. Normally, it works, but. It's not working for me recently, so I'm just going to, well, instead of using prop details, which you can't really move, just use uh, prop dynamic, and you're able to move them around, but, like, that's not really something you're going to be doing a lot. Well, it depends on the kind of map you're making, but, yeah, prop detail, I mean, prop dynamic is going to be a good replacement for prop detail if that's not working for you. And if prop detail is working for you, then use that. And yeah. That's going to be it for part 3 on how to make a map inside of the hammer editor for Gary's mod. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.